just sitting here in my car after another day of work. Just has something on my mind like I always do. Um, it comes to me, the Lord tells me to. What comes in your heart, the Lord will tell you what to say or what you're feeling. And it's not uh, it's not that big voice in the sky that some people want to hear, some people want to see, to believe, to say, I need to hear a sign or I need to hear some kind of uh, voice. The voice is in your heart and the voice is in the Word of God, which is the Bible. You know, we look at the world, we look at the world crumbling, literally, with earthquakes and, and just the money and the banks and the wars and the constant, constant tension of everything that's happening with every possible, uh, everything possibly that could go wrong is going wrong. And Jesus said, don't love this world. Anyone who loves this world does not love me. The things of this world is temporary. It says in James, your life is like a vapor. Meaning it's like a mist. It goes into the air and that's it. You're gone. We cannot hold on to the things of this world. Now, I've stated in other videos and other in other uh, videos that I have done that these things are temporary. We are not to love this world. We are not to hold on to the things of this world. Do we love our family? Do we love the people around us? Absolutely. I'm not saying that at all. But the things of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Do we love our money? Do we love our possessions, our cars? Do we love these things? Because these things will not be forever. Anyone who loves this world does not love me. Do you love this world? Do you love the things of this world? Think about that for a second. Would you want the rapture to come now, or would you tell the Lord, back off, I don't want you to come because what I have is good right now. I'm good, I'm okay. You could hold off on that, Lord. Just like that one clown, Jesse Duplantis, excuse me for saying clown, but that one guy, Jesse Duplantis, who was talking about it, who someone threw $5,000 over into his backyard and said, hold off, Lord, wait for the rapture, let me collect this money. Are you tied to those things like he is? Are you tied to the riches of this world like so many of these fake pastors are? He who loves this world does not love me. For what is your life? It's like a vapor, the Bible says. The Bible also says you surely came into this world with nothing. You surely you'll leave with nothing. Apart from me, you have nothing. Jesus said, apart from me, you have nothing. And like I said in other videos, we ought to occupy, we ought to do what we're supposed to do here. But if you're a believer in Christ and if you're spreading the word, if you're doing the word, or even if you're not a teacher or not someone who's out there preaching, preaching the word, are you holding on to this world? Are you showing others Jesus Christ at all in any way? Are you picking up the book and showing somebody a scripture? Are you talking about the Lord at all? Because the things of this world are temporary. He's eternal. Do you love this world? I know we could fall into the traps of this world, the lust of this world. The devil has many traps in this world. Many, 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 many temptations. Many traps. He's a deceiver. He's smart, too. Remember, he's an angel. He's not some dumb idiot running around not knowing what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's taking many people with him. So let's not hold on to the possessions of this world. Yes, we have to do what we have to do. But everything here is temporary. He who loves this world does not love me. Think about that real hard for a second. If you're a believer, do you love this world? Do you love the things that you have in this world? Or do you love Jesus Christ? The Lord is everything. Without him, you surely have nothing. Your life is like a vapor. Jesus is the only way. Jesus will get you through everything. I know that. I've lived it. I love you all very much. And remember to hold on to him and not the things of this world. May God bless you all. And may his grace shine upon your heart.